A Church of England vicar who was sexually abused by Bishop Peter Ball when he was a teenager says the disgraced clergyman tried to blackmail him into having sex. Graham Sawyer visited Peter Ball when he lived in Sussex in the 1970s. During one of the meetings, he says that Ball told him if he didn't have sex with him, he'd never be ordained. Well, tomorrow, Bishop Peter Ball will be sentenced for a string of sexual assaults against 18 men, including Graham Sawyer. Today, it's been revealed that his victims are suing the church for hundreds of thousands of pounds. Our special correspondent, Colin Campbell, has this exclusive story. As a teenager, Graham Sawyer knew he wanted to become a priest. So he visited Bishop Peter Ball at his home in East Sussex to seek guidance from a man he considered trustworthy and spiritual. He had control over me and so therefore nurtured, or probably a better word to use is groomed me, making it very clear that the only way I would be ordained would be through him. And that therefore I was completely reliant upon him. And um, the abuse, for want of a better word, started with very heavy suggestions that I take off all my clothes and be completely naked in front of him. After enduring several years of abuse, the teenager eventually found the strength to reject Peter Ball's intensifying sexual advances. It was very, very clear to me that what he was saying was that if I did not have sex with him, I would not get ordained and he would stop me from getting ordained as well. Peter Ball escaped with a police caution in 1993 when he should have been prosecuted. A month ago he pleaded guilty to sexually abusing 18 young men and teenage boys. It took me uh, by complete surprise that we ended up with so many people and it showed the extent of his, uh, of, of his offending, how he would strike upon the vulnerable whenever he had the opportunity to do so. Peter Ball will be sentenced for his crimes tomorrow. Bishop Peter Ball is a monster and uh, he should, as a matter of justice, be sent to jail for the rest of his natural life. Uh, well, that was Colin Campbell reporting his life here in the studio. And uh, Colin, an apology this evening uh, from the former Archbishop of Canterbury, Dr Rowan Williams, to Ball's victims. Yes, Graham Saw Sawyer told Rowan Williams in 2000 that uh, Peter Ball had made a sexual advance towards him when he was a young man. He didn't reveal at the time that Ball had sexually abused him, but Rowan Williams didn't act on the information in 2000, and Peter Ball was allowed to continue to work in churches for a further nine years. Now, in his defence, Defense. Rowan Williams says he didn't realise Graham Sawyer was making new allegations against Ball in 2000 and didn't take action at the time because he thought the church had dealt with the allegations. It was, however, Rowan Williams acting as the Archbishop of Canterbury who carried out that review of allegations against Peter Ball in 2012, which prompted the Sussex Police investigation. But Dr Rowan Williams says he's profoundly sorry for his delay uh, in acting against uh, Peter Ball. Uh, and as we've heard, Colin, solicitors uh, acting on behalf of the victims have announced that uh, they intend to sue the church. Yes, uh, lawyers representing four of... Uh uh, the victims of Bishop Peter Ball have filed claims against the Diocese uh, of Chichester. It was in Sussex where the majority of the abuse was perpetrated and the claims range from a few thousand pounds to hundreds of thousands. Thanks, Colin.